Kevin Jackson Radio Show. What's up, everybody? Kevin Jackson here. It's the Kevin Jackson Show. Welcome, winners. That's right. You are winners. And you know why you like this show. Let me just give you one of the reasons why. You like it when I remind you daily how much you are winning. I hate losing. The only thing I hate worse than losing is not winning. (laughs) Welcome to the Kevin Jackson Show. KJRadio.com, 844-551-8255 if you want to call the show. Consider all that is happening right now, America, to validate you. Remember when Donald Trump was the misogynist? Huh? How far do you have to go back? Oh, I know. They're still talking about him. He still grabbed women by the... Oh, wait a minute. Don't make me bring up Harvey Weinstein. Who's the misogynist now? Huh? Where's your guy now, Moses? Huh? Leftist? Remember when Black Lives Matter thought they were all that in a bag of chips? Where are they now? Huh? Roger Goodell. Is this thing on? There's a story, folks. <laughs> where scientists found $2 million worth of gold in Swiss sewage. Now, I don't know how you would even go to look for gold in Swiss sewage, but apparently there was a study done and they found $2 million of gold in Swiss sewage. All you got to do is go through it. I would say conservatives found an immeasurable amount of gold In Hollywood sewage. (laughs) Man. We're finding an immeasurable amount of gold in D.C. sewage. Barack Obama was flushing it down the toilet. Hollywood's been flushing it down the toilet. They haven't been letting you in on where the gold is. But there's gold in them there turds. See the gold is it's vindicating you. Your vote for Donald Trump, your steadfast dedication to the principles of conservatism are being vindicated. What would you, you people are winning. (laughs) You got me excited. I'm excited. You fellas excited? Y'all excited about the show today? You know what we got to tap? What do we have going on? You know what we got to do? We got to get a system where you guys can be heard. So... That way people don't, you know, think I'm crazy. Yeah, we have great production around here. These guys are good. Woo! We pick winners. Man, I'm ex- I'm, I got to tell you, you look at everything happening in the world today. You could not line this up. Let me ask you this. Donald Trump is president. And the biggest scandal of Hollywood that isn't even a scandal because we've known it's been going on. The biggest scandal of Hollywood breaks during this time. Donald Trump is president and something that has been brewing in business all throughout, you know, for the, for decades, the, the progressivism that's been pervasive in business for decades, ruining businesses. And Donald Trump's presidency says, let's take a look at this progressivism. Let's take a look at this so-called activism and let's call it what it is. And he calls it out. And if you think it's some sort of, you know, freakish timing thing with Trump and the Hollywood thing, I don't think it's freakish timing at all. I believe it is ordained. I believe that God has seen enough Sodom and Gomorrah in the, the state of California, the epicenter of liberalism and leftism. It, which is Hollywood that is spitting out the most vile, putrid sewage <laughs> that we've seen in a long time. Now, look, I'm not sanctimonious. I love the human form, particularly that of the ladies. I, I'm I'm the guy that send me to Brazil to cover a story, Fox News, and I'll go to Ipanema. Just take off all your jewelry, but I'll go. Yeah, I have you seen the Brazilian beauties in the little swimsuits they were? I've signed me up. And I know what people, come on, Kevin, that's not very crazy. What are you talking about? (laughs) 
God gave you eyes. It would be like me looking at a steak and going, what? what do they want me to eat those Cheetos? I'm looking at a good steak cooked at some great restaurant. I'm going, look at that steak. The same way I'm going to appreciate a beautiful woman. Except, you know, I'm just, I get to eat the steak. I just get to appreciate the beautiful woman. Just like, hey, look at that beautiful woman. So, you know, this concept of we're all prude. I'm not being a prude at all. I get it. And and there are things that I'll look at that I don't want my kids to look at. And and I understand that when I was a kid, I tried to sneak and look at things. I told you guys my Playboy story. I used to go over to love to go to Tommy's house because Tommy had Playboys laying around and I could partake acting like I was cleaning. I was cleaning. I was cleaning. But I was accidentally, you know, pushing open the magazine. I think my grandmother was on to me. Anyway, gold flushed down the sewer. Estimated 95 pounds of gold is flushed through the Swiss sewage system each year, according to a study by Aquatic Science Institute, EWAG. Lost gold is worth about $2 million at current prices. Researchers believe the tiny gold flecks flow into the wastewater system from the country's famed watchmaking industry and gold refineries. The study was commissioned by the Swiss Federal Office for the Environment and involved studies of 64 wastewater treatment plants across the country. So these guys are making watches. I'll tell you this. When I was at Texas Instruments, a guy stole $135,000 worth of gold from the semiconductor processing plant. What they do when they do semiconductor processing, gold they gold plate the etch. In, in some cases, they'll gold plate the semiconductors or the etch. And when they gold plated them, there was gold that would, uh, it, it, it looked black because it, it, it would, uh, it didn't oxidize, but it, it combined with a chemical and it looked black and it would be caught into the bins that were below these different, these vats. And this one guy knew this. And so he, uh, he poured the water off of it and it looked black. It looked, it looked like, uh, like pepper. Okay, that's the best way to describe it. It looked like pepper. And he would cart it out little by little every day. And then he, he went home and he cooked it and, and took a chemical, put a chemical to it that would take the chemical that it combined with the gold and get rid of that. He'd scrape it off the top and he was left with gold. And it was estimated that he took $135,000 worth of gold. How much are we going to take off of the top of the Hollywood store? This is the Kevin Jackson Radio Show. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com. Beth Cook Moranville author of Closer Than Your Breath, A Book of Hope. Hope, that wonderful, wonderful four-letter word that you may feel completely out of. I wrote this book to give you great hope. It's not too late. If fetal position is an all-too-familiar place for you, I understand. If the next 60 seconds are too long, this book is for you. Wherever you are right now, whether you're dealing with divorce or death or sickness, take hope. You are going to make it through this pain. Don't roll your eyes. I've walked this road and I know it. The best is yet to come. Closer Than Your Breath, a book of hope from author and speaker Beth Cook Moranville can be found on Amazon.com or Kindle.com. For more information, visit CloserThanYourBreath.com or on Facebook at Closer Than Your Breath. 